I just got this from my friend, the master impeccable craftsman, Bradford Bain. This is unlike anything I've seen. So, steel ebonite in quotes. Some of the finest, most aesthetically pleasing work I've ever seen on a clarinet mouthpiece, and it, its, its beauty is indicative of its function for sure. So there were little holes in this mouthpiece that probably somebody used for a microphone pickup, as you can clearly see here. But there's something else that's really interesting that makes this mouthpiece exceptional. And there are some markings on here. So this is very hard to read, but it says BTE, SGDG, Depose, and then the patent number is extremely hard to read. But it's 412725. Now that number is indicative of some of the best blanks ever made, including some by Henri Shedvel, and some uh, f that are stamped Mellophone in the same font as Henri Shedvel. Um, and these are seen by some to be the finest blanks ever made for clarinet, finer even than the artistic facing blanks. What's interesting about this mouthpiece is there are other stamps on it, and uh, some stamps I've never seen before. So in addition to that, 412725 in the typical place, there's a little patent process mark right there. And I, I can't read it. I can see that says Pat. And in the right light, it looks like it's Pat number. It, oh, it actually, there's another 412725. So that's another. And then there's something written above it there that I can't read. I think it might be a double stamp. And then there's another patent mark there. And this is even more faint. But it's Pat A something. Patent A something. And then there's another patent stamp somewhere as well. I'm trying to find where that fourth patent stamp is. But yes, this has four separate patent stamps that I can find on this mouthpiece. Uh, I don't see anything written on the tenon, which sometimes you see. Let's look at some other features of this. A, a very nice throat shape. Um, it's almost H. If anything, the bottom is actually closer than the top, uh, which I have another mouthpiece that's similar to this that has a similar throat shape that I'll show you soon. There's Brad's amazing repair of the holes, but a fantastic throat shape and a very nice baffle. It, it, it is somewhat lower, um, but it, it still has a ton of power, it, and it, it's very similar to what I look for in, in something being very smooth. This mouthpiece reminds me very much of a couple of my Henri Shedvels, and in addition, of course, also the Black Melophones. Just a really cool baffle. Uh, you see how efficient as, as it goes to the throat there, as it goes to the base. Um, and again, really, really fantastic work by the master Brad, Bradford Bain. Um, I, I'm going to really enjoy this mouthpiece over the next few days and get some playing demonstrations of it. But I also have a video coming up with other mouthpieces of this blank that have uh, similarities and, and differences. Um, if anybody's ever seen one with three or four, actually four different patent stamps, very, very hard to read, kind of, uh, you know, tattooed around this mouthpiece. Please let me know. For me, this, this reminds me of the film Memento. If you know, you know. This is definitely a unique mouthpiece with an incredibly high ceiling and an amazing sound that I will demonstrate soon.